Hi Aquarius, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your weekly tarot reading for the week of March 28th to April 3rd, 2022. Thank you so much for joining me. And I do want to remind you, as always, this is general for the week. So just take what resonates. Thank you in advance as well for your likes, comments, and subscriptions if you haven't done so already. Not sure what I'm doing with my hands here. Anyways, uh, to book a personal reading with myself, just reach out via email and I'll definitely get that started for you. Everything is down below in the description box to do so. Now, um, don't forget to stick with me to the very end of this reading to get an answer to your very own yes or no question. So just think of it along the way. The overall message I channeled for you Aquarius for this upcoming week, having the very best, having the very best. And the song that Spirit chose to speak upon your week, you received uh, Give Me One Reason by Tracy Chapman, older song, Give Me One Reason. I love it. I'll leave it down below for you to listen and or look up the lyrics and let's begin. We're going to pull however many messages we get from the uh, Sacred Travel the Oracle deck and then we'll further speak upon your week with the um, Tattoo Tarot deck. Bear with me. Alrighty. For my lovely Aquarians for this upcoming week. They're saying getting what you want is on the horizon. Getting what you want. All right, we have three here. I feel as if it's a week where you're pushed to keep it simple, to not overload oneself with work or uh, obligations, not to overdo it or uh, potentially uh, set oneself up for that. Does that make sense? I, I feel like you're not going to feel like doing a lot at certain points or you're just going to feel like wrapping oneself up with a lot of relaxation and uh, simplicity, okay? It's a week to embrace that to say the least as you will find in the midst of all of which you're discovering a level of inner truth or just certain truths may be a bit disheartening from the recent past, the past weeks, uh, they're saying even months. And so therefore it could be a good period uh, throughout the week or certain points to digest uh, those truths, okay, fully. Um, certain obstacles maybe have been weighing heavy on you recently. Traveling lightly is the first one, simplify your life. Oh, I didn't even see that. And I was just talking about keeping things simple. And you're going to need to embrace that this week as you keep things simple. Uh, embracing the next steps along your path in the most uh, simplistic and the easiest manner. Okay, that was horribly put, but you get the point. Um, ooh, they're saying as the leaves fall from your tree, let them. And I feel like that's more so relating to people, places, situations. When you find that uh, these people, energies and situations don't align with you anymore and just naturally organically leave your life, fall from your tree of wisdom, from your tree of life, let them, okay? And I know that's a little bit disheartening to hear, but I feel as if you're being pushed to move forward towards wherever you want to uh, uh, go, whatever you want to acquire and expect um, to travel lightly in the midst of it all, okay? Um, to not want to or expect oneself to be weighed down when moving towards that destination or those destinations. Valiant courage, take action with passion. Take action with passion. Being pushed to hop on your horse, your chariot, whatever form of transportation, excuse me, is gonna work for you or feels accessible to get to where you need to be. There's a preparation this week to uh, get in the right mindset to uh, figure out who and what's coming with you and just to maybe solidify where you want to go in your mind, heart and soul, but also just to prep for that travel, okay? And for some of you that isn't actual travel, but it could be you actually traveling to new destinations, new cultures, it could be you moving residence, new job, it could be um, you just simply beginning a whole new chapter within existing situations however it works for you being pushed to recognize or to remember simply that you have the the courage within you to make certain changes developments to let go of the past and embrace your bright future as it is uh, a week where once again you're being pushed to remember you deserve uh, having the best moving forward right uh, I'm repeating myself um, and it may not fully feel like it throughout this week but again it's preparation for that lying ahead Solitude. In silence, peace prevails. 
So it's a week where you can see how I was just quiet right before that. I literally couldn't speak. Spirit might push you to just stand in silence, sit in silence, right? Going back to that relax relaxation card, excuse me. You may feel as if you're cut off in the middle of a sentence um, or a story. It's purposeful. You might be inclined to overshare at certain points or in other times you just might feel like you don't have anything to say or don't feel like speaking at all. Accept it, okay? Embrace it. In solitude, your silence, uh, you will embrace or be pushed to embrace a new level of inner peace. And it will allow you to, again, prep for what lies ahead, but to also heal and come to certain conclusions and um, confirmations in one's mind, okay? Uh, they're saying you might be giving somebody the silent treatment for one reason or another. Putting your hand up to uh, the BS in order to add respect for uh, your bright future. Alrighty, let's continue with the Tattoo Tarot deck for Aquarius. We have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, a huge focus on your happily ever after, on uh, potentially your family life or your home life. Just wanting the best for oneself and being pushed by spirit in the universe to remember you deserve just that. But nobody and nothing should be able to weigh you down or hold you back or make you second guess that you deserve just that. This is a big pep talk through this reading, but it feels quite necessary. As you're reminded, you deserve a fresh start in a lot of ways. But even reflecting on one's habits, right? Um, what needs to be put to rest, um, adjusted, even your mindset potentially in the midst of deciding, uh, figuring things out, sorting through, cleaning up uh, for what lies ahead. They don't want you to um, hinder oneself or just allow others to do uh, exactly that or just uh, taint the beautiful next chapter that is on the horizon for oneself. You have a lot of decisions to make, a lot of choices. If there's a new investment you look to embark upon, it's as if you're just being pushed to uh, get ready to put that crown back on and accept that you're royalty and everybody should be treating you uh, like that. Don't let it get to your head too much, but you get the point. There's a focus on how smart you are, how wise you are from the ups and downs, from the situations that didn't really do you justice but have prepared you for the justice that lies ahead, okay? Change is the name of the game, and even if it doesn't feel like you can fully implement a lot of which right now, it's a week that, again, is getting you ready. They're saying that I, I'm not meaning to repeat myself as I'm spoken through, through this reading, but you will find yourself doing just that as well um, from time to time, and that might be one of those moments when spirit stops you uh, in the midst of speaking or makes it impossible. With the Three of Swords, there's just a focus on your disappointment, your emotions, but getting a level of justice when it comes to that, period. All right, or a taste of which to uh, spark a realization within oneself to get you motivated, to get you to embrace the healing and recognize that the scales are balancing out moving forward because you've been through a lot, okay? Um, and therefore, why wouldn't you want to embrace the mo the push to travel lightly in a lot of ways and that includes your emotions okay you don't want them to weigh you down moving forward as there is a push with the eight of cups to simply do what's right for you period okay you owe it to oneself screw what people think at this point those who matter the most will either come back around or be with you when the time is right okay with the four of wands and the five of cups it's as if you're expecting the worst at times or you sort of expect for people to do you wrong or just for a situation a change to fall flat because of your past it's a week where you need to cut that out and allow for oneself to recognize that um, things are falling into place okay to view your life as a blank canvas moving forward and paint it how you wish as people are going to notice you throughout the week for the better or for the worse so embrace the attention, um, but also just embrace your alone time and don't feel bad for wanting to step back and do so, okay? It, it may feel like things are moving quickly or the changes are being implemented quite rapidly at certain points as you can't help but reflect on the past, but it's all again out of preparation to get you ready for simply having the best, okay? So let's answer your question. 
for Aquarius. Alrighty, as it picks up speed, you can see you're getting an answer of no, a no. So I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you have the most amazing week, and I'll definitely see you next time. Bye, Aquarius.